And happy birthday to a Tigger fan 901. A uh, special birthday request for you, as you asked. It is Natsu from Fairy Tale versus Melodis from Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, so Natsu, we know, is a Dragon Slayer uh, mage from the Fairy Tale Guild. Uh, his his magic basically is you know of eating creating fire using fire based techniques and then eating fire to restore and you mean fill his stomach and restore his uh, mana. Uh, he can also, we also know he has done this with lightning, um, and basically combined it with such. I think he did it with something else, too. Uh, like plasma of some kind? Oh, lightning and plasma, I guess, are the same thing. Well, Natsu, what was it exactly? Natsu Dragneel, to be precise. Uh, is his full name. But, uh, it, as it turns out, though, there's a... Okay, he is the younger brother of Xerath Dragneel, who originally died 400 years ago, being subsequently revived at his brother's most powerful, Ithris end e n d uh which is apparently a uh, acronym natsu is among the f uh, five dragon slayers sent to the future from 400 years in the past having an additional purpose to assist in the defeat of akinagal no, 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 evil dragon um so yeah um he's from the past sent to the future <laughs> yeah fire dragon magic we already know this uh he's got plenty of techniques i'm not even gonna bother going into them for a very specific reason uh, but yeah, huge amounts of uh, these attacks. Uh, there's secret arts, including more powerful versions of these. Uh, uh, lightning dra fire dragon mode after he absorbed lightning. I know there's a black fire dragon. After absorbing the dark flames of Regulus, he became capable of combining these flames with his own destructive uh, fire. So there you go. Uh, he's also got uh, fire dragon king mode after 10 months of training and manipulating Neil's remaining power beneath him is capable of using his fire, power to fire a power of the fire dragon king. Very powerful mode. Dragon force by consuming ethereum of the or the flame of rebuke. Natsu has been shown to be entered the dragon force. The ability is said to be the final most powerful state of dragon slayer can attain. It has been said to be that the power is comparable to that of a real dragon. Natsu is the first known generation dragon slayer to enter this form. Uh, his dragon force allows him uh, strong enough to be able to burn off. Xerath's uh, black magic that he used to restrain him by attaining Dragon Force through the flames of the Fire Dragon God. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It basically, it's super sane dragon form, if you will. Fire dragon form. I also say he's just an extremely powerful combatant in his own right. My problem, ultimately, with this fight is, even though I know a okay amount about not a fairy tale and an okay amount of uh, Seven Deadly Sins, both are two... Um, series I've never actually in-depth read uh, or watched. I watched a little bit of Fairy Tale, uh, but yeah. Um, against Melodis, I this guy is actually, Nats is actually fairly outclassed because now, uh, Melodis is described as being, A, the strongest of the sins. He's the sin of wrath. Uh, he, and a former demon king, if I'm not, a uh, former demon prince or was a demon king. Uh, either way, Someone who was like kind of not threatening existence, but threatening the very world and like beings who, in terms of like combat power, kind of not let's say outshine is a good way to put it. Uh, most of the uh, well, individual demon king, yeah, that's affected by the curse of the demon king, promotion of falling in love with the gods and killing him. Um, most of those, most of the high up characters really outclass a lot of the fairy tale characters from my stuff. Can understand. Particularly those who have these the have uh, their powers of sins and commandments. The commandments are nuts. Like in terms of, I've, I've done a couple characters that have commandments from uh, Fairy Tale. In fact, I've done Melodus before uh, several times, uh, and he technically has access to all of the commandments. But even beyond that, while he is even in just base form, he is immensely powerful, capable of easily going toe to so toe with someone like Natsu just on a physical level. His ability full counter basically allows him to reflect and uh, aim any magical attacks back with more, with much greater force. Uh, the only uh, catch is, Project right, he cannot initiate attacks himself. He, uh, he is also incapable of re re uh, reflecting attacks if the opponent does not allow him to read the timing and nature of the attack. Physical, indirect, and continuous attacks can also be uh, cannot be reflected. The gaming king, the demon king, stated that this technique is merely. An imitation of Chandler of Chandler's technique and the original magical power is something different. Still, Natsu, while a very strong combatant and solid strategist, he he'd almost likely be uh, 
predictable on some level that Natsu could easily just reflect, or Natsu, uh, Mel is going to easily just reflect those attacks back at him. Uh, and Natsu cannot eat his own fire. So that would start to become a bit of a problem for Natsu. Even if he overcomes that, there's still other things he needs to worry about from Melvis. Now, the Hellblaze actually probably would work, be right up Natsu's alley. It's just a black flames, which we know he can eat. Uh, assault mode from Melvis, though, it, uh, it stated uh, the state is reached when he unleashes his demon powers to his fullest, achieving immense power. So it allows Melvis to access his full power, allowing him. Uh, according to a character, back in the days when he was commanded the Ten Commandments, even they were in fear of him in this mode. Drawback is that it temporarily robs him of all feelings and emotions. Wouldn't matter in this. Um, basic, he also has a technique called Thousand Divine Slayer, which he cuts his opponent with a sword a total of a thousand times in an instant. Uh, launching a barrage of small green sphere, high country of darkness of the opponent with Trillion Dark. Um, Mel slashes the opponent several times with a sword in an instant with... Um, Purple Lightning Slash, and then Dark Star uses a sword with the power of darkness to perform a powerful slash. There's some combo techniques as well, but there's also the fact that as, as the former leader of Ten Commandments, he was the original wielder of the Commandment of Love, which bestowed upon him by the Demon King. Those who would stand before him, <clears throat> uh, before him with hatred in their hearts were rendered powerless to harm or inflict on him or inflict damage on him or anyone else uh, to allies himself. After completing the ritual to become the Demon King via absorption of all the commandments, he has access to all, he, he held all ten commandments, but upon forcing the Demon King out of his body, commandments were also forced out. So, he no longer has access to the commandments. That is at least, <laughs> that's at least something we can um, uh, go, whew, because let's be honest, if he did not have access to all, if he had access to all the commandments, Natsu is royally effed. Want to know why? Let's just quickly break this down. Uh, faith. Anyone who shows a lack of faith will have their eyes set ablaze. I don't... Uh, de I mean, I guess faith is a little bit um, nebulous of a term, but yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if not so has so he'd lose his eyes. I mean, if he doesn't, love, as we know, anyone who holds hatred in their heart will be unable to inflict harm on anyone else. Not so actually could probably get around that. As far as I can tell, he's not a hateful guy. Passivism. Anyone who kills would who anyone who kills will rapidly have their own time stolen away, causing them to rapidly age and die. Um. And so yeah. Um. Not to. I is it has killed or kills? Yeah. Who kills in say that person's um space uh, uh, area? Wouldn't matter here because the fight's basically gonna come down to just either knocking out or killing anyone um patient or yeah patience anyone who shows intolerance of pain will be inflicted with further pain in intolerance of pain i'm sorry this i'm trying to figure this one out here real quick anyone who shows intolerance of pain so basically oh okay it's not, I, I was reading a different, I was reading the opposite way of it. Anyone who's basically showing like, you know, they can, they can handle their pain will be inflicted. No, it's if you show that you can be hurt, you'll be inflicted with more pain. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, that could work out very badly for Natsu if he gets hit hard enough. Uh, pity. Anyone who, show, anyone who shows their back to the wielder would become an obedient slave to the demon king and by extension the commandments holder. So basically mind control. Uh, purity. Anyone who conducts impure deeds will be inflicted with illness. Great. Uh, anyone who, uh, repose, anyone who fights without rest will get magic, their magic sealed away. Uh, ooh, that's, uh, that could be extremely bad for Natsu. Um, yeah, that actually, Natsu's one, because he's got that kind of shown in mentality of like, I'll never give up fighting without I keep going no matter what. Oh, that could screw him up hard. Uh, retis oh God. reticence, reticence, anyone who expresses hidden feelings or emotions will re be rendered unable to speak. Well, that really doesn't matter. Uh, selflessness, anyone who holds desire from another person will lose their me memories, emotions, and sense of self. Oh, and then finally, anyone who lies from truth, anyone who lies or goes back on their word will be turned to stone. Yeah, that one, that that's pretty easy to yeah, get someone on there. Natsu, as intelligent as he actually is, and he isn't dumb, he's also still very just 
uh, headstrong and, you know, forward to just fighting. The problem is, if we just take out the commandments, which we know Melodus doesn't have anymore, <clears throat> uh, Melodus still, just physically alone, would probably be out not so pretty hard, from what we can tell from the series. He's gone up against individuals who are threatening, threatening entire countrysides with just their sheer strength alone. And hell, even, um, what, Escanor. He's, the, he's stronger than Escanor, who we know at his peak is insanely powerful uh and like it's it is it, more than capable of like probably going toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone like natsu um really the issue uh that Natsu is going to find is that in a, if we have it if we haven't said that melvis can cut an opponent a thousand times in an instant that could mean at literal when we talk about an instant we mean like like that or less so we're talking about image and because of anime we know these characters probably go well into like light speed level uh, feats or like uh, plank time, uh, micro or nanoseconds, all that. So you're talking about a guy who moves that fast. I don't think Natsu can keep up with that. Uh, I don't know if Natsu has light speed level speeds on that level. And then there's assault mode and full counter. Unfortunately, I think Melodis is an opponent that Natsu could put a fight up against. But because of the nature of him, because of the way he fights, uh, Melodis would easily be able to just, by the way, full counter, just about anything that gets kind of thrown at him by Natsu. Unless Natsu starts to go rapid fire and start to overwhelm him, uh, I think just a full counter alone will be able to do a lot of damage to Natsu. Now that said, um, do I think Natsu is going to get completely thrashed in this fight? No, I don't. I think he's definitely strong enough to hold his own for a while. But ultimately, I think power-wise, I think Melodis is on a very different level than Natsu. Like if Natsu stands here, I think Mel like if Natsu's at a ten, if you were to max out Natsu at a ten, I think Melodis probably stands more like at a fifteen. And for the Ichigo fight, by the way, I would put Ichigo well more like on a time uh, like at a twenty twenty five. I think Ichigo ranks on a much higher tier of power than Melodus does, just because of the nature of Bleach itself, and what a lot of representation is in there, in terms of worlds, realities, powers, all that. Uh, but anyway, though, that is just my thoughts. This is, uh, this is my thoughts on this fight. What do you think? Would you do something different? Let me know, uh, who do you, would you do something different? Do you think Natsu actually stands a legitimate shot of winning? I'm not saying it's impossible for him to win, by the way. I think Melodus is just going to, um, overall beat uh, overall beat Natsu pretty, pretty handedly. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I think, I think there's some scenarios, like if Natsu goes all out on Melodis, there could be a scenario where he maybe knocks him out before he's able to go full strength. I think that's legitimate and he's not giving him any time to like counter attack or anything like that. That would be Natsu's best strategy, is to just literally keep the attack up so full counter can't be used, which causes Melodus to then have to use other abilities, his other power. He might try, he probably tries using Hellblaze at least once and fails, not seeing that Natsu eats the fire. So he has to use other abilities. So there is a path to victory, I think, for Natsu. I just think that Melodus is just on a higher tier of power overall. And again, that full counter, when used to full effect, is it's kind of a broken ability in many ways however should be noted that uh the reason like uh full counter doesn't work against other opponents i've used meldus against again like in ichigo is because it uses ma its aim uh excuse me meldus reflects magic attacks back it doesn't reflect anything it only reflects magic so if you're not using magic then there you go still i think meldus will take it but what is your opinion you think meldus or you think natsu let me know in the comments below until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.